All right, so now we're looking at another absolute value inequality. We are given that the absolute value of 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to 5. This is a little more complicated than the previous example we looked at uh, simply because it involves an expression of a variable instead of just the variable itself. But the process is the same other than after we put the negative on the left and the positive on the right, we have to isolate x in the middle. So that's just a matter of algebraic manip manipulation uh, going in both directions. So we'll start off writing out the inequality again first. 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to 5. Again, negative goes on the left, so negative 5 is less than or equal to 2x minus 1, which is less than or equal to 5. So now we need to solve for x. So we'll add 1 to all sides, which gives us negative 4 is less than or equal to 2x, which is less than or equal to 6. Divide both sides, or all sides, by 2. And we get negative 2 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 3. <clears throat> and again, anytime we have uh, an absolute value that's less than or equal to, we can interpret that as an and inequality, where the negative of what's on the right goes on the left-hand side, what's in the absolute value goes in the middle, and then the positive that was already on the right-hand side goes on the right-hand side. We then solve for the variable in the middle, and then to graph, this is the same thing as graphing our and inequality. We're going from negative 2 to 3, so negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And when we have this less than or equal to, the, the absolute value is less than or equal to, uh, with less than or equal to, it's just the interval from whatever we get on the left to what we have on the right, and then determining if it's inclusive or non-inclusive. In this case, it's inclusive. Negative 2 is less than or equal to x. I'll go ahead and put a square bracket at x equals negative 2. We're going to less than or equal to 3, so I'd have another square bracket at 3. And x can be anything in between negative 2 and including 3. Now, to put this into interval notation, we use the same brackets because it is inclusive. And the interval that is the solution to this absolute value inequality is negative 2, 3, inclusive. 